Uh, 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 I got it. What happened? Hi. What happened? I just read the headline on this um, West Palm. Oh, is this guy fucking awful? Well, uh... Yeah, let me tell you something. There's nothing that bothers me more than bad writing. Yeah, this is really There's bad. nothing worse than cornball comedy writing. So you want to... Uh, what do you want to do with this? We're trying to be vague because mm. maybe we should try to talk to this guy before the pest get a hold of him. Or do we just do it and then let the pest have at it? Uh, no, I say... Do we try to get on the air with the guy? For what? For what? So we should just go... Yeah, he's a okay. douchebag. All right. What are we going to talk to? He's, he's a fucking... He's a fat car salesman. That's him? Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's him? He's a fat... Look at this guy. Look at that no, fat... Get, no, no, no. Fucking white guy. Get him on the air. Someone try calling this ass's show right now. Is Let's he on the it, air right now? That's, yes. That's him live? Yes. Yeah. Get... Get him, on, him the on the air. AM, of course. And if uh, we can't get him on the air, then we'll explain to everybody. Either way, we'll explain to you. But we know you guys can't help yourselves. And if we give you a little more info, then it's going to be over, Johnny. So we really want to try to get get talking to this guy before we really uh, really give out the info. Oh, I like his little resume he puts at the top. Oh, I cannot right. stop Go looking get at this guy. <laughs> Go get Sarah. I, 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 Go get Sarah. Bring her up. Fat yeah, motherfucker. Dude, I, 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 I hate I, his guts. You, he's what a fucking phony. Yeah, fraud. And his writing, I, I, I am literally, I'm biting the inside of my mouth. Cause let me Don't tell you something. Do that you know what? Me. Wordplay jokes, like. Yeah. Oh, I know. He's he's funny. loaded with them. It's right. so bad. I'll, you want me to read this? I am the best reader here. What? <laughs> <laughs> God, there was hey, did you have to smile so fast? Jesus, Jimmy. Who the, who the what the fuck? <laughs> Could you at least oh, um, pause before you realize maybe I'm not? What a... F uh, well, it's a talk show host in West Palm Beach, Florida. This guy is a complete douche. Are we trying to get him on the phone? We're trying to get him on the phone, but now, you know, whatever. Let's see if he's brave to go on the air with us. It doesn't matter if we start talking about him now. If he's brave enough. Maybe he could back up his words when we go on the air with the guy. Put the video up. Just see if the pest start calling or anybody starts calling him. We'll see the... Uh... Well, it's uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. He did a whole article on Opie and Dopey. Ah, I get it. No, you get it. I'm the dopey one. Oh, that's Again. terrific. Wow, we've uh, never heard that one. Don't un I can't understand why you're only heard in West Palm Beach, Florida, with uh, with such writing as that. He wrote this in May. But first, no, he goes. First off, I'm now a two station performer, and then he goes on to tell about what days of the week and times he's on two awful stations. Mm hmm. Well, he's on. Uh, one of them is a Saturday. What? What? And they don't even give him a full week. He's on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Look from, what time. From 9 till 10. From 9 to 10. <laughs> and I will host a new uh, swap shop <laughs> on the all new. Uh, and then it gets the station. Yeah. Till 9. It's 9 till 10 a.m. <laughs> Saturday, beginning June 2. He spells it J O O O O O N. <laughs> <laughs> this oh. guy, he, he is an ass. What a fat fucking pig. Oh, by the way, is. it's coming in that he pays for his show. He, Why, he's one of, these, of course he does. He's one of these guys that has to pay to be on radio. It's like and an infomercial. Another douche that's just uh, jealous uh, of our success. Uh, why are we even... Oh, okay. I thought he was uh, a real... real see if you, only a year old, hit the air last June, J-O-O-N, playing nonstop country, later pop standards, and today it is called America's Best Music. Now... As for the two talentless, uneducated, bigoted, mutant, moron idiots, Opie and Dopey. Joe coming. Put on your laughing hats. By the way, if you Here call this douche, please record the phone calls for our pleasure. Go ahead. Funny joke coming up. Yes. The talentless, uneducated, bigoted, mutant, moron idiots, Opie and Dopey. Here it comes. They belong on mass media. Like I belong on the next space shuttle to Neptune. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
All right. All right. There's a couple problems yeah, with yeah, the joke there, writing. There's a couple of uh, issues See, right there. We've never uh, launched a space shuttle to Neptune. No, space shuttle is for um, pretty much just low Earth orbit. Yes. And um, you may, you may and so you can't say the next space shuttle right. to Neptune. There, there's never been a space, space shuttle, shuttle to, Neptune. to Neptune. See, when you write comedy, it's got to be based on some type of accuracy. And you may want to go to Neptune because you'll have more listeners there. You're on from <laughs> 9 to 10. <laughs> You Saturday. Piece of shit. <sighs> and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're watching him right now on video, and I would I can't tell you how badly I'd love to see Tony Montana break in and just shoot him because he looks like Fat Ernie. He looks like fucking <laughs> he does look Fat like Ernie, Ernie from Scarface. E Rock, you're looking at your future. Oh you Jesus! No, I'm serious. West Palm Beach talk show host for an hour, and uh, you know he's a fat mess. You got to stay on your diet. That's that's what I'm saying. This guy's a loser. I'll read more from the, this jealous fat Here are, And then he goes on to say uh, about us, of course, Opie and Dopey. Here are a pair of nobody nothings who, for some... Oh, oh, can I stop you right there? Yes, Sorry, yes. Sorry, Anthony. But oh, please. This goes back to what we were saying yesterday. When you say here are a pair of nobody nothings, see, there are a bunch of nobody nothings out there. Guess yep. what? Guess what? Uh-huh. Don't know their names because yeah. they are... Nobody nothing. Thank you, Anthony. Love us or despise us. You know us. Right. We're, we're, we're on the radio. We have a very popular show. Our, our names in the industry are very popular. People know the Opie and Anthony show. Even people that don't listen. Yeah. I'm out there. I know people that go, oh, you know, I've never heard your show, but I know who you are. The one thing you can't say is that we're nobodies. Nobodies. We can suck. We can, you know, we, you hate us. Our show stinks. You can say whatever you want like that. That's all, you know, opinion. But you can't say we're nobody nothings. If anybody's a nobody nothing, it's this douchebag because I don't know who this guy is. We got to give out his name soon. I honestly got he's only on until 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. His show that just started. Is half over. <laughs> yeah, half over. We got to give out what his a name. gig. Let's give out his name real quick. What does he do other uh, than this? Because his, he can't possibly just do this for a living. His name is Dick Farrell. Dick Farrell. F A R R E L. Farrell. F A R R E L. Dot net. One word. Dick Farrell. Dick Farrell. D I C K. Sorry, sorry. F A R R E L. Dot. Dick Farrell. Dot net. His uh, phone number. He's doing his show. It's half over. Even though he started at nine. Five six one. Five three three six one three four. He's on W P B R A M thirteen forty A M. Wow. wow, you really nice gotta problem. slide that dial over, wow. don't you? I believe you could get that uh, station in the parking lot at uh, Home Depot in West Palm Beach, Florida. Jeez. You go over any further, you're gonna get transmissions from the next space shuttle to Neptune. <laughs> I don't even think that's part of the radio band. Yuck, 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 yuck. What an ass. Is that his phone number to call? Yes. All right, very good. So, Dickfarrell.net. Let her rip, pests. Enjoy, pests. Have fun. Uh, E-Rock, could you put the picture of him uh, doing his show there? Because I want to see when he finally, when his head explodes, when his big fat head explodes. Dude, can you somehow give a link to that in Pal Talk so people can watch this fucking fat body? It'll make him freeze up. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Can, can you pop that up? He's so unpopular. He has one of those URLs that... Is impossible to memorize. Could you pop that up? Oh, Can we hear it? A I want to hear him before uh, the pests get to it and it freezes. Okay. That's where your ability. That's where your ability. That that I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let him talk over. You can screw yourself, Dave. You're not talking over me. This is my show. Oh. The advertisers that pay for me to talk on this station, and I'm gonna say, what I want to say before you have a word. Besides, you can talk to your commie bastard buddies every day from seven to eight if you want, or eight to nine, whatever the hell they're on the air. The air. The fact of the matter is, I have always believed... Another radio oh, voice guy. ...deserve a chance in freedom. What? We gave them that chance, and we must leave there with that chance intact. Boring. I did not change my policy. Bush bozo... Oh, he's one of those guys. Oh, and now everyone's hitting the website. Bu that's buffering. <laughs> buffering. I like his show when it's buffering. <laughs> With the funny, he's like, he, here's what he's trying to do. Oh, it's great. He's we got a freeze frame where it looks like he's blowing the microphone. Anyone yeah. else knows that? Yes, he's trying to be <laughs> this <laughs> outrageous <laughs> conservative right. who yeah. says whatever's on yeah, his mind. Low life. Low life pink. Ah, uh, look. All right, uh, all the pests don't watch it. Yeah, yeah, that'll uh, that'll help. Uh, we want it. We want to see it. The pests can't help themselves. We got to hear He's a Rush Limbaugh audio. wannabe. Pinko slobs in the Congress have changed the policy. Did he say pinko? People like you. Yeah. Yes. A pinko. Commie pinko. What year is this? What fucking year are we living in? 
Uh, uh, we used to say that when the hula hoop was uh, popular. Oh, the commie pinkos. Does he have a comment? I love the fact that in this article, this no dumb cunt. Then, cold to a rush. He writes ridiculous, and he spells it R-E-D-I-C-U-L-O-U-S. He spells ridiculous R-E-D. No why? Re. He, he's one of those guys. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yes, because as long as Bill Moore can speak his mind. Oh, uh, we'll speak our mind with you, fatty. Oh, Let us through. Is just Let us through. Is he bag. taking phone calls? The screener said, if we want to talk to him, he'll talk to us after 10 a.m. Yeah, when he's off the air. Oh, fuck what a you, baby. You fucking faggot. You, you get on the air with us. What's the number again? We want to give out the number again. Right. Uh, five, five, six, one, five, six, one, mm -hmm. five, three, three, sixty one, thirty four. And you can check out his website, Dick Farrell dot net. Right. Farrell is two R's and it's one long word. Yeah. All right. I, I put him down so we can read this. Uh, here's yeah. the rest Buffering of this like after yeah. the great Neptune um, line. Oh, yeah. Um, here are a pair of nobody nothings who, for some inexplicable reason, cajoled, invigled. <laughs> wormed their way into a major market radio station. No, not a major market radio stations. Major market radio stations. See, that's plural. Yeah. For many years, we have been on major market radio stations. Yeah. We have not been out of a top ten market in uh, uh, t 12 years since we've been together. Uh, except for the time we had to take off, but... Yeah, well, that was when we weren't on radio at all. Yeah, good point, good point. Jesus Christ. You douchebag. Then network and finally satellite radio proving once again talent, ability, experience, funniness, funniness, and just plain worthiness are no criteria for being able to suck in obscene suck in obscene bucks without any tangible effort or justification. This guy's jealous. You know what? He is a jealous Bad boy fucking is jealous. douchebag who's got a shitty nothing show. He's on from nine to ten. He's on an hour and, and no one no one knows who he is or listens to so if it wasn't for us talking about him, I wouldn't know who the fuck and he is. He, uh, he has a fake radio voice. Yeah. And not only fake he, uh, anger, and fake passion. He's an angry conservative, but he's got to try to distance himself and separate himself from the other conservatives. Yeah. So he uses the type of language that regular guys use. Right. He's Look at me. A stand for Pete's sake. Let's give some advice to Dick Fatboy uh, Farrell. Yes. See, the reason we're on a lot of stations and on satellite for many, many years... We're doing our own thing. You're doing Rush Limbaugh. See, Rush Limbaugh is already on a ton of stations in the big markets. They don't need yeah. a Rush Limbaugh wannabe because they have Rush Limbaugh. See, the secret of radio is to try to do your own thing, and uh, then then your worth goes up. The guy lacks sincerity. You know he doesn't just – he's not this guy on the radio. And real conservatives – defend uh, uh, us because they want less government involved right. in your life. And uh, guys like Sean Hannity, and you can't get much more conservative than Hannity, uh, uh, was very open-minded about the whole... Uh, sure. Uh, uh, because it's all about the Condoleezza Rice thing. And, and, and they were very open. He's very open-minded about that. And so a guy like Rush Limbaugh, I don't think, said anything stupid. None of those guys did. Uh, well, well, Sean Hannity, another guy doing his own thing. Yeah. Here he goes. He's in, he's in that political talk genre, but he's doing his own thing, and that's why he's syndicated all over America. This guy is doing Rush Limbaugh, and that's why he's stuck in West Palm paying paying a company to do a radio is he really? show. Well, is he so, paying for this? Yes. He pays money to do an hour Ew. on West Palm Beach uh, Radio, and, and he's going to trash us? Oh. We never had to pay to do a radio show, fat boy. He pays to do his own yeah, radio Yeah, it's like an show. infomercial. It's like if you bought an hour of oh. commercial time on a station, you would be able to go on there and, and say whatever you want, as long as it's within the guidelines. He, instead of airing a commercial for an hour, airs his oh, show. You so his show is an infomercial for himself. Oh, you Fat embarrassment. Isn't that just hey, embarrassing? Can we find, wait a minute. Can we find out who his advertisers are? Let's find out who his advertisers he's got, are. I don't think his advertisers. Yeah, I think his advertisers. Oh, really? Uh, hey, let's let's offer money. let's offer the station more money than he's paying for his hour. Let's buy his hour. Oh, that'd be hilarious. From him. But the stipulation oh, is they can't great. move him to another hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yes, even they, care. They have to. Let's buy. Let's pay. Wait, <laughs> Let's whatever he's paying for the hour. <laughs> let's pay that much for a half hour and make him do a thirty minute show. <laughs> <laughs> and our half hour is a very good idea is nothing but cat sounds. <laughs> yes. How cat much, sounds. How much do you think he pays? You guys know Radio It's Brother gotta Brother. be nothing. I mean is, is it ten thousand a show? In no. No way. 
in this hundred. market? Yeah, a couple hundred maybe. couple of hundred bucks. Offer them a grand. Yeah, and they'll take And they will scoop it up, and we will do his, Dude, his part of the show. Get the West Palm Beach Let's pass. make this work. We'll, we'll collect some money, and, and we'll get the pest to show on that station in his time slot, and right. all you guys do is cat noises for an hour. Let's pay for his. Uh, let's pay yeah. for the time slot and yep. take yep. his and slot. And we'll pay more than he's paying. Right. Yeah, of course. David right. from South Wonderful. Carolina. David. Hey, how's it going? Yes. I'm What's a up, little David? confused. Yeah. What is uh, Anthony's real name? Is it Anthony? Is it Andy or Dopey? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I uh, my mother doesn't even know what to call me anymore. Aren't you Dopey? Yeah. Yes. That old dopey, dopey thing is uh, a little played out there. Wait a minute. By the way. Yeah. Uh, phony guy that he is. He's taking this big racial stand. An unnecessary racial stand. Yeah. And now I'm looking at the GM for the radio station, and he's a black guy. So apparently this guy, who can only do one hour of radio, is sucking up to what he – maybe – I don't know what the GM really feels. But he's sucking up to the GM by, by taking such an over-the-top, over ridiculous stand. Yeah, ridiculous stand uh, in his little article here. Yet he's this right-wing guy – who isn't typically uh, very sympathetic to African American causes? No, and but he's oh, he God, don't give a fuck about black people. Oh, and his appearance, he he's a bit overweight. He's got poofy hair, and he's got a jizz sponge on his face. Jizz sponge, <laughs> <laughs> a bit it's overweight. It's a big seventies <laughs> porno mustache, isn't it? I, I like to call it a jizz sponge. So <laughs> this, this, I'm hoping that uh, that term takes off. <laughs> <laughs> New term Thursday. <laughs> jizz sponge. <laughs> jizz sponge. This next. Paragraph. Yeah. All right. Let's. He is it is just. It's, it's everything you hate about humanity. Yeah. Right. Well, here he goes now. Here he goes getting things wrong. Whatever. Uh, the recent attack on an African American female, Condi Rice, by these two low lives in no shape, way, or form comes even within one hundred light years of the innocuousness of the ridiculous comments by another unfunny. Anacrostic we way f- use big words. Yeah, the one Donald I'm ass, and now get how he spells it. I'm like I am the contraction of I am. I'm even has the old uh, apostrophe in it, and then uh, dash a. Dollar sign, dollar sign. For the S's. I'm ass. Of I'm he means Don Imus. Oh, he does? He's calling him one Donald I'm ass. And he, he's unfunny? Yeah. This fat fuck pays to do an hour radio show and yeah. he's calling Imus unfunny? Unfunny. By the way, only insecure people use big words. Big words. I know. I'm, I'm not even kidding. It's, uh, it's, it's not even a joke. Uh, look around you. The people that have to like use that word that you're like, uh... Uh, I think ten people in the world know that word. Those people are insecure and trying to trying to have a little something on you. And then let's say you listen to this uninformed uh, uh, shithead. Uh, yet for some unfathomable reason, the word "fired" was never heard. Jesse Jackass and Al Charlatan were unseen. The word "apology" unspoken, and for the most part, no outrage. Really. Really, motherfucker? Uh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Here's a guy that has no facts on this fucking story. Because bye, bye. that isn't what happened at all. Eric, please repeat what you just told me. Um, the audio is kind of choppy, but he's doing a live read for a, a local restaurant. I didn't get the name yet. We're trying to find it. Where if you're a Farrell fan and you use your club card, every time you go for lunch, you get a free piece of pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> Old fatty loves pumpkin pie, oh, of I guess. He does. God forbid uh, he's going to get a free hour on the treadmill. Oh, I hope he dies of a heart attack. <laughs> what a douche. Dude, I want to find out the and, name and of And you know what? Card. When we go down the fatty road, some of our fat listeners get pissed off. Let me explain the fat thing and the Opie and Anthony show. I think we have over the years. There are people that are fat, we're not. Yeah, no, there are people that are fat, <laughs> don't give a shit. It's just what they want to be. They want to eat and enjoy their lives. There's other fatsos like this guy that is hiding something with their pumpkin pie. If you're s- squeezing into a 
little fucking Opie and Anthony Wow shirt on your fat body. We adore you. Yeah, I want to. I want to help. We don't guy. care that you're fat. We care about the people that are hiding other things behind pumpkin pie. I want to help this guy. Yeah. All right. I think that if if we find out what that restaurant is, mm -hmm. and we encourage people to call it as Farrell fans, that we will be helping this guy's call. Oh. I think that this guy. I only want real Farrell fans to call, of course, but I want you to support that restaurant because that will help him keep his radio show. Okay. Right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, he okay. pronounces it pumpkin. He doesn't say pumpkin. He's trying to be cute with it. That's adorable. Ah, pumpkin. That? Pumpkin. <sighs> why don't we? Uh, why don't we tell the restaurant what they could do with their pumpkin pie? How with about their that? pumpkin pie. Just a suggestion. Well, this guy is an ass. Let's go to Matt in Richmond. Matt, what's up? And then just got through, uh, the guy, I guess, he, the first five minutes I sat listening on hold, all he did was defend Rush Limbaugh and Hannity. Uh, he's a pseudo-intelligent ass. Uh, I mentioned you guys, and he basically just repeated what he said on, uh, in his article. You know, I mentioned, I said they got my name wrong, I was Steve from Yellowstone, but basically he's just, uh. you know, a pseudo-intelligent ass. Yeah, he's real brave. Yeah, he, he can write this crap, but we're willing to go on the air with him. But yeah, what a, come on. What a pussy. Basically, he's all right. conservative who thinks he's going to rile some people up. I mean, that's all it is. This guy will go nowhere in radio, trust me. He's, you know, it's obvious he's been trying for many, many years. He's a bit older than us, and he's stuck doing an hour in West Palm Beach on a station that he has to pay the manager to get on. Should I turn your mic off, Ed? Uh, I got, yeah, I got, I got to actually take this phone. Yeah, that's all good. Want to take a break or? Yeah, take a quick break and we'll get back to this. All right, we'll get back to this douche. This, uh, Ed's taking a personal call. Uh, we'll, we'll continue with uh, Dick Farrell. I mean, we could do it without Ed, but I'm um, enjoying this. So. Keep a barrage going, gentlemen. Well, keep, on the, well, keep you know, let the listeners keep going. All right, we'll we'll be back. Two uh, minutes, just just we need we want to get the restaurant information anyway. So anyone who might be listening to him live, please let us know. Well, I think the now. past probably already know. I'm sure someone has uh, gotten that info out on Pal Talk or on, uh, on the message boards or whatever. All right, we uh, we're in the middle of talking about uh, Dick uh, Farrell. Dick. Dick Farrell. I bet he's never heard that before, like I never heard uh, Opie and Dopey. I bet he's never been called, hey, Dick. Dick. And, uh, you know, he's brave. Uh, another guy br brave on his keyboard there. Yeah. We blind CC, blind CC, blind CC. Copy paste. Copy paste Rush Limbaugh. Copy paste Sean Hannity. You douche. You're doing a radio show. So why not talk about, uh, get us on, on, on your show? But he's you know, the guys you're trashing behind the scenes. Why don't you get us on your show? He's not a funny And we'll man. have at it. No. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit sad. I got an email uh, during the break. Dick Farrell died? Uh, I'm a bit sad. I got an email from my girlfriend. I thought it would be a nice, happy email. What happened? You know, and instead it says, uh, well, I can't read the mushy stuff. That's no, nice. oh, come on. That's just for me. Dear no, ma, no, the mushy stuff ma, is just for me. Ma, I got to keep something private. No, me, I can't. Me, me. I can't share the muff. Uh, the, the dear I, I can't share the. Uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Nothing. I can't share the uh, the mushy stuff. That's what I meant to say. Mo <laughs> all right. Mushy. That's it. <laughs> Everyone knows I mispronounce all the time. I was trying That's to say mushy. Great. What did you say though? I can't. I can't share the mushy stuff. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll share this one. You sound really happy today. Ah. I could have told you that. I've seen your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Uh, and uh, the show sounds great. I could share that. But the other mushy mm -hmm. stuff, that's mm -hmm. that's just that's just for uh, me. 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 Dearest. You said it made you sad. Well, that's the part I will share with you. The mushy stuff is just, that's just for me. Me. Oh, one line. We're part of the mushy. You don't have to share the image yeah. mushy. Nothing private, private, but... No! How many lines is the... Me, 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 me. I almost kissed you. <laughs> yeah, damn, darn. I'll, I'll share this much. <sighs> Tofuti Cuties mm -hmm. makes your ass smell like garbage-filled diapers. 
<laughs> Aw, she is a keeper. <laughs> I knew she was annoyed last night. It's funny. It's and she's like, shit, it's okay. Not even shit filled. <laughs> garbage filled. Garbage. Well, she's basically, you know, basically uh, saying that diapers are already filled with shit, so what makes it even worse uh, than baby diapers filled with shit? Well, you had the, the bad garbage. But the rest of the stuff is for, for just me. Me! Well... All right, let's go. Back to this douche in West Palm Beach, Florida that has this to pay to do radio. Pumpkin pie-eating fat ass. All right, where are we? Uh, Donald, we were down uh, here. I'm ass. By uh, I'm ass. Uh, Don, I'm ass. Yeah. Yet for some unfathomable reason, the word fired was never heard, as far as our situation goes. Uh, Jesse Jackass and Al Charlatan <laughs> were unseen. The word apology unspoken. And for the most part, no outrage. All this despite the glowing portrayal of a prominent black woman being raped and joked about. No outrage? This guy Did you watch TV for everything. a month? This guy missed everything. No outrage? They were outraged? Uh, there was plenty of outrage. Thank you, Anthony. Believe me. Read the next line. And the up. people you mentioned were involved. And there was an apology. And the word fired was thrown around. You are an idiot. Dope. This guy is so uninformed, and yet he's writing like he knows it all. When in the history of the Republic were white guys able to make fun of rape, demean black women, and all the while get a tap on the wrist? Wait a minute. He's when in the history of the Republic. In the history of the Republic. Were white guys allowed to make fun of rape, demean black women? Is he joking? How about the entire history of the Republic save 50 years? <laughs> 50? How about from 96 on? What is he talking about? He's actually saying when in the history of the Republic were white guys able to make fun of rape, demean black women, and all the while get a tap on the wrist. In the history of the Republic. A tap on the wrist was the first step towards anything being done about the demeaning of black women. Because yeah. for many years, you could do whatever you want with no consequence. With complete impunity. And then, you know, a tap on the wrist built into a real criminal prosecution. What is he talking it's about? It's because he's not giving any thought to it. He's trying so hard to write something profound yeah. that he just is. And, and, and this just exposes what a, an uneducated, uh, unintelligent jerk off this jerk guy Jerk off. Is. Uh, by the way, uh, breaking news here. We got uh, some info for the past. Yes. Oliver in St. Louis. Go ahead, Oliver. I love you. I love the show, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. Sorry to force you to say that. called Newports, man. Newports? Yeah, I was calling to see if my Ramon call got through. Oh, we don't know. Oh. I don't know. No? We're taping. No. Oh, we are oh they're rolling tape. Hey, uh, so you get the free pumpkin pie. I say you throw it on the floor. Go in there for the free pumpkin pie and then show them what they can do with their pumpkin yeah, pie. Show them what they can do with it. <laughs> Here's the <laughs> pumpkin pie. Now clean it up. Yeah, or, or maybe you can compare pumpkin pie to Cox and tell them which you prefer. However you want to slice it. Hey, can someone uh, <laughs> can someone bake a shit pie and put it in a pumpkin pie box and send it to Dick Farrell? I think that's illegal, Opie. It is. There are health issues well, there, what, and you what? cannot condone doing what, what, things like that. Uh, what? You are not allowed. Are you serious? I'm positive. All right, I have you, to take that back. You cannot do that. I have to take That's that back. That's right. There, that is a personally. health issue for the postal people that would be I carrying did not know for that. everybody else, yes. When do they, uh, they make that rule? It's very illegal. When do they make that rule? Uh, it's been in, in play for quite a while. Well, back in the day, we used to talk to the, that company that would do this for you. Yeah, it's, if, it's if illegal. You, if you had a boss or somebody that you didn't like, they would uh, they would do... Deliver dog thing. duty. So they made it illegal in yeah. the last few years? Yeah, it's it's illegal. Isn't it right. beautiful that they had I'm to? sorry. That they had Something to. Something happened right. where they go, look, no, 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 no right. shit in the mail. Yes. I honestly had no idea, so please don't do that. Oh, you're a comic just fucking around. Uh, I know. Yeah, well, you never know these days. Uh, I'm a comic, Jimmy? Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you. After tap on the wrist, what, well. Rob? What's that? What, Rob? I was trying to read. Let's do Sorry. It. Scott, sorry. Oh, but what? No. What happened? Sorry. Uh, I'm just so Jimmy excited by this guy's writing. I can't stop. Right. I love his next thing. <laughs> right. Well, so-called rap... Really crap stars do it all the time. Talking about demeaning uh, black women. See, he says rap stars, and then he goes, really crap stars. He calls rap crap yeah. uh, by using it in the word. Yeah, why don't you say that right in front of Jay-Z? See, yeah. see what happens to you. Black performers do it all the time. I'm uh, in the 
Uh, I, I, I'm the I'm ass case. In the, in the, in the I'm, I'm ass. In the I'm ass case, it was punished with uh, severity. Not so with Opie and Dopey. The now thugs, National Organization for Women, uh, who'd ordinarily beat down the door of the stations where it was uttered, were uh, conspicuously absent. The race pimps, Al and Jesse, were busy with their Coke spoons and trollops to care, and the liberal pinko commie media. <laughs> pinko commie? Dude, I hate the liberal media, and even I don't think they're pinko uh, commies. What year is this? <laughs> no one has used commie pinko since, like, the, 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 the 80s, early 80s. Oh. Had nothing to do, uh, say with it either. The women, uh, the woman is a brilliant, accomplished, educated, successful conservative Bush appointed Secretary of State. <laughs> As a result, the horror reserved for I'm ass and others was ignored. Um, can I interrupt? Sure. I'm sad again. What happened? Honey? Casper in Chicago. Oh, we don't take Jimmy's You're a Comic as a compliment. He did just bomb horribly last night. Oh, that's true. So you wouldn't know. Next. What funny is. <laughs> Good point, Casper. I did eat my fat balls. Now I'm, now I'm sad again. No. Maybe my girlfriend will cheer me up. Exactly. Maybe compare something else with diapers around them that your fucking <laughs> asshole smelled like a romantic household. <laughs> All right, sorry. So now we can say any indignation and complaints from now thugs, black agitators, and commie media pundits will have no merit simply because they have chosen to be selective in their indignation. Uses indignation twice in there. I love that. Their angst is fake, phony, and false, like yours. Uh, yes. You jerk off. And means nothing more than crocodile tears. Ugh. No substance. If you were out to lunch on the attack on Condoleezza Rice, as uh, may uh, you may as well had be, be, ha be like, had Oprah been the target. As you may, yeah, you wait. may as well had Oprah been the target. You may as well be had had Oprah been the target. Uh, yeah, he he he's he's not a good right. No, D Dick, you're not a bright guy. He's not smart. You're not. A bright guy. Can one imagine if a national conservative host had suggested rape for Oprah? Silly. No one could ever imagine even that. It would be just too past uh, the pale. What does that mean? This guy is a cliche-obsessed ass. And I say that with an A and two dollar signs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not dirty, folks. Do you think you'd ever see another news story or event take its place for a while? Well, maybe 9-11, something like that. He's a fat cunt, but I spell it with a K. <laughs> <laughs> I dare. Did you use snakes for S's? Cause say. The dollar signs already used. If Savage, O'Reilly, or Limbaugh had made fun of a possible rape on Halle Berry, Oprah Winfrey, Viv uh, Vivica Fox or Diana Ross, it would take World War III to get it off the minds of the nerds in the newsroom of the commie liberal media. But it's funny that he's saying nerds. Indignation is no indignation if you are not always indignant at the same thing indignant. <laughs> <laughs> he is an ass. Uh, uh, yes, Iraq e has an update. Um, I just recorded a phone call they just had involving Chubby Bunny, Master Poe, and did a rock scream before he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hang on one second. All right, oh. e Rock, right on. This guy wants to be Rush Limbaugh so bad. Chubby Bunny. The commie lib media. That's that's like Rush Limbaugh stuff, uh, right? Oh. Jesus. Here we go. I got it. If you want it. Yeah. Oh, let's hear this call. Uh, all right. All right. And Bleacher Anthony just did three minutes on his show. Cool. All yeah. right. Good. Is this the one? Uh, I don't know. I just started recording as soon as I heard Master Poe's name. Uh, so. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. They were talking about the situation uh, in our local paper. Do you have any idea about that? You mean the comments made by Ann Coulter about Hillary? Yeah, about, about how Hillary Clinton was playing Chubby Bunny and then Master Poe was angry about it. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm familiar with this entire scenario, but if oh. you're if you're going to uh, tell me that uh, Ann Coulter did something wrong, well, there's a whole lot of other people who've said similar things about President Bush and Richard Nixon and Henry Hyde and, uh, right. and Newt Gingrich. I mean, uh, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. It's amazing uh, that the other side cliche. wants Another to cliche. play oh. the game that uh, they're all, it's okay for them to do it, but not okay for Republicans. Exactly. Do. Can I give you a rock scream? <laughs> that, that was fabulous. I got a round of applause for that. 
Hey, uh, John, you got good lungs, man. Keep working on that. Someday they might be of some good use. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, he said, Did he say what's good for the goose? It's, it's good, good for, for the, the gander. gander. Oh, this guy's aw he's awful. It's beautiful. It's like peeling the layers off a shit onion. <laughs> I, he becomes more and more awful with every moment. I almost oh. like him. Hey, can you guys just get a montage of uh, his dumb cliches? You're going to get some audio from this uh, awful show? Yeah, he's off now. Oh, he's off. Of course he wow, he's show's done. over. That was it. Wow, there you go. Wow, you are good. There's the uh, Dick uh, Farrell show. Fit all that entertainment in one hour. At the Newport Cafe in West Palm Beach, Florida, he'll be live at 12 having lunch with the listeners. <laughs> all right. With the listener. <laughs> well, we would suggest if anyone wants to join him down there at the yes. Newport Cafe. In, uh, where is that, West Palm? It's uh, 561 965 Seven seven eight eight, and that's at two six seven seven Forest Hill Boulevard, um, it's number one twenty three. Whatever. How, that how many listeners can we? The get? Newport Cafe. This would be great. We got some XMers in the West Palm Beach area. Have some uh, lunch and bring your own pumpkin pie. Yeah, bring some pumpkin pie. <laughs>